we're about 12 days away. I guess we're exactly 12 days away from this return to school plan uh, coming into effect. Over the past few weeks, the situation has changed a few times. At times, you know, we've had, uh, you know, the Quebec government has had to change its plans. How confident are you that on the 17th, students will go back and then we won't be back, say, in a week and have a different plan for the return to class? Well, I'm pretty confident that we will go back uh, to a person uh, teaching and learning in, in school uh, January 17, but I can be sure at 100%. I can be sure at 100%, of course, because COVID is COVID, and uh, we have to take advices to our health authorities, and we have to adapt. But we are not the only one. I've seen Ontario change uh, their, their plan like two days ago. I've seen that in France, they did adapt uh, their, uh, their response to the pandemic, I think, 24 hours ago. So every country and every state uh, has to, uh, to adapt to the pandemic and to their uh, health care. So uh, it's normal to do so. But as I've said, I'm pretty confident for now that we will, back in, we will be back in school January 17. What do you think the return to class, uh, what do you think the effect is going to be on uh, hospitalizations? And what would be the cutoff point to send uh, students home again? I, I think uh, we will need to be in a very high crisis to, to because you know, for us, for kids and uh, students are a priority. There is a lot of bad impacts, you know, especially the, the fact that if they are vaccinated, they, um, the risk for them is very low. So you understand? The only thing is the impact on the healthcare system. And because of this, it's why we made that curfew. It's why we are asking people to lower the number of contacts try to keep. You know, I think this effort is also there to keep our schools open.